lest we forget, Stephen Drew, still a free agent, Kavina. I know. After winning a World Series with the Red Sox, would a guy like Drew bring a winning, I love when they say, swagger to the New York Mets? If the Mets got Drew, without question, I think that's one of the biggest things he brings, right? As Kanye West would say, is he dripping swagoo? Dripping <laughs> swagoo because he's been there, done that, and he brings an added confidence, a swagger with him that I feel like rubs off but on the rest of the team. Do you like, believe in that? Do you believe in the whole yes. idea of a guy, well, even if it's a utility guy or a mid-level guy that was on a couple winning Yes. Games. Yeah, he's been there, and I feel like that the other players feed off of that. Like, there's a, there's a comfort level when they're in that position. You're like, all right, he's been there, especially when you size people up. If you size people up in sports, you're like, if this guy could do it, I could do it, right? Okay. So I feel like it eases the rest of the team. Like, okay, cool, man. So you must think when, like, one of these guys that was on a multi-World Series Yankee team went somewhere else, like, oh, what a value he brought to that He's team. bringing that winning attitude. Yeah, that added sense of, don't worry, guys, I got we this. Could, we could do we this. Could do this. I've been here before. I, I, I know that none of you have done it, but uh, this guy right here, I've done it. Yeah, absolutely. So I think, if anything... It could be good for the Mets. I, I think, you know, you can look at it this way, too. If you if you hang around a guy that is used to getting hot girls, right. like an Adam Levine. I mean, he moves like, he's, this guy moves like Jagger. He If he hangs out with good-looking women all the time, yeah. if you hung out with him, you would feel like, well, you know what? I could get good-looking women. Right. This guy knows what he's he doing. He knows what's up. You're take, you, you feel like you're following the lead, and you're like, you know what? There's something to be said about what he's doing, without a doubt. He can do it. Uh, without a doubt. And if and you have players like that for that particular reason. If you hang out with a guy that knows how to talk to women, you feel like maybe that'll, it'll rub off on you. Hey, Rich. Yes, Dave. You want this guy for the Mets? Uh, you know, I, I feel like I do because, I mean, Ruben Tejada hit zero home runs. He has, I don't no, know. Does, no, I'm not run. dissing Tejada. I, I, just think think... You, I think you should want him because it'll inspire the rest of the team because you know what he has that the Mets want? Mm -hmm. A World Series ring. That is true. A guy like him, you know I, mean? like, Yo, I got one. This is what we're playing for, guys. Who's coming with? You get a winner like Drew and you get a, you get a guy with a winning vibe like, like Granderson. You know, a, a guy that's a so former Cy Young Award winner in Cologne. Maybe you're building a bunch of guys that are bringing a new attitude to join David Wright, who seems like, at times, the only winner on the map. A right? winning attitude, and that goes a long way. So, Johan Santana reportedly won't be ready until midseason. That's a bummer. And I know. And with the Mets' recent pitching signings, it seems his time with the Mets is done. So, Rich, how will he be remembered? How he will be remembered? Yeah, how's he going to be remembered as a Met? I, you know what? I, I think of it as a sad situation because... He was way better than his numbers show. Like, he was way better than some of those 13 or 15 win years because his ERA was always great. He, he pitched the only no-hitter in Mets history. I, I think that for a team with limited, limited success, they're always going to look at Johan as a major part of this team. I think he'll be remembered fondly. Because if you look at it, but it's, it's up to guys like you who have watched him play because kids will remember him as a guy with a losing record, you know? But you need to remind him, no, 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 he's a guy that pitched his heart out, mm -hmm. that got a few injuries, and didn't get enough run support. Oh, he got so terrible run right, support. Right, right, right. So his, his record will never reflect how great he was here. It was almost like wasted talent because I, I, the guy pitched great and has really nothing to show for it except for the no-hitter. I think Met fans, you know, deep down inside realize that when you go to the ballpark, they're sick of seeing... 86 highlights mixed in with the Piazza, uh, you know, 9-11 home run. You're like, you know, we need more highlights. When you go outside City Field, the little plaques in the ground are from moments of series that we didn't even win as, exactly. as a team. So, exactly. you know, this is, Jose and Santana will forever be a great memorable Met moment. The first no-hitter in team history. I think, and for that, I think he should go down as one of the greatest aces in Mets history. I, I'm just, I'm despite just, the record. I'm bummed at how... It ended. You know, you hope that well, maybe he can come back. Hold on, it's not completely over. As of now, it seems like there's no more interest. Right, right. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The glimmer? No chance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, of fair enough.